Good morning. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming today. I'm David Berliner, Chairman of the Madison Square Park Conservancy, and it gives me great pleasure to welcome the Honorable Mayor Michael Bloomberg to open Mad Square Arts Summer Exhibition Red, Yellow, and Blue by artist Orly Genger. The Madison Square Park Conservancy, thank you. Madison Square Park Conservancy is a public-private partnership with the City of New York. Under the leadership and the unwavering support of our mayor, green spaces, art, and culture in New York City have flourished more than ever before. Madison Square Park itself has become a destination for its arts programming, bringing over 50,000 visitors each day to what was once a neglected park in the heart of Manhattan. This summer, Orly Genger has reimagined the landscape of this 19th century Beaux-Arts Park, creating new ways of seeing and experience Madison Square. Such an ambitious, ambitious project would not have been possible without the support of our board of directors, the staff of Madison Square Park Conservancy, and the generous supporters of our arts program. We thank you for your hard work and dedication to this monumental project. I would also like to thank First Deputy Mayor Patty Harris, Commissioner of Parks and Recreation Veronica White, and our Commissioner of Cultural Affairs, Kate Levin, without whom our city would not be the epicenter of arts and culture that we are so fortunate each and every day to enjoy. And now, it is my great honor and privilege to introduce our mayor, the Honorable Michael Bloomberg. Well, David, thank you, and uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is obviously a beautiful day from a weather point of view, and our Parks Commissioner, Veronica White, was trying to take credit for the weather. But we all know it's the mayor who's responsible for spring sunny days, and her job is to bring rain so that the trees and flowers get wet. But the rest of us don't like that, Veronica, sorry. However, it is only fitting that the sun is shining brightly today because we're opening a new public art installation, and that's all about color, and it's three colors in particular, red, yellow, and blue. And that's the name of this original and remarkable installation by an innovative young artist that I, who I've just met, uh, New York's own Orly Genger. Nice round of applause for Orly. She is a real New Yorker. As a matter of fact, uh, this had nothing to do with us helping to pick this event, but she grew up in the same building where Patty Harris lives just so you can put it all together. But that, it's a conflict. I'm sure somebody will write about that, <laughs> nevertheless. Uh, seriously, Orly is a great example of the creative spirit and the entrepreneurial spirit that fuels our city. Some, uh, using some 1.4 million feet of brightly painted nautical rope, which is enough to stretch from one end of Manhattan to the other nearly 20 times, she has woven her magic throughout the park. And it's a work of art that has been more than two years in the making, and it was all hand-knotted in a Greenpoint warehouse with help from art students and young artists. And the rope was collected along hundreds of miles of our ocean coastline up and down the eastern seaboard, including here in New York City. Some of the pieces originally came from old lobster traps and others from old mast lines, and all of it has been repurposed, recycled, and restitched and reimagined to create this new installation. Uh, when people originally bought this rope, I don't think most of them thought it would wind up in Madison Square Park as something that really is going to challenge our minds and give us great pleasure. But that is, in fact, what happened. And it's a fascinating design and technical process. And since it's both innovative and environmentally sustainable, it is a perfect fit for our city. From today through Sunday, September 8th, her intricate and inventive constructions are sure to rope thousands of visitors into one of our city's most attractive public parks. Hard to work a rope joke in, but I did. <laughs> Didn't get a lot of laughs, but that's okay. Here we are in Madison Square Park. Now, great public spaces like this add new energy to life in New York, and so does exciting public art like this installation, which was commissioned by the Madison Square Park Conservancy. Nice round of applause for them. David, thank you. 
Such projects really are, kidding aside, a big part of what gives New York our identity as a global center of creativity and innovation, while also helping to attract visitors and support job growth. And since 2004, the Madison Square Park Conservancy has placed works by some of the world's greatest artists here, where everyone can experience them uh, in this wonderful, free, and open space. Visitors have also gotten to take in, in some cases for the first time, views of the buildings along and near the park, which are sometimes themselves some of the most strikingly designed structures in the entire city. And you should know that this public art installation is the latest chapter in the incredible revival of Madison Square Park. And it all came about because people here today who were determined we're determined to turn things around. The city did its part with a major fa uh, facelift of the park and by supporting cultural programming here led by our fantastic cultural affairs commissioner, Kate Levin and her team, Kate Wave, hello, and David Berlander, uh, Debbie Landau and another Mad Men and Women. Mad, the Mad is in Madison Square Park. I thought it was a TV show, who knew? Uh, they formed the Madison Square Park Conservancy, and you see the results all around you, not just in the park, but in the improved shopping and dining in this area. And I think it's an object lesson in how a park's revival, including compelling public art projects like this uh, that enhance our quality of life and draw people from across the five boroughs and beyond, really can revitalize an entire community. So on that note, let me turn things over to the president of the Madison Square Park Conservancy, Debbie Landau. Debbie? Mayor Bloomberg, thank you. It's an honor to have you here today. Orly Genger is a young artist in a class all her own. Her project for Madison Square Park developed over the last two and a half years, during which red, yellow, and blue took shape through a remarkable process. Here are just a few astonishing facts. As the mayor said, red, yellow, and blue consists of 1.4 million feet or 100,000 pounds of rope. 90% of this rope was acquired from lobster fishermen through the Gulf of Maine Lobster Foundation, which collects and recycles rope from New England. The rope is covered with 4,000 gallons of paint red, yellow, and blue took 9,000 hours to knot. As with any great art, the work is greater than the sum of its part, and never has this been truer than today. Now, 10 years into our program, red, yellow, and blue will engage and delight visitors from all over the world as much as the park itself. I would like to take this opportunity to thank those who made this exhibition possible with their generous support. Tiffany & Co., Delta Airlines, Sorgente Group, Ace Hotel, the Kobe Foundation, Leanne Ginsberg, Toby Devon Lewis, Agnes Gund, the Rudin family, and many others. The board and art committee of the Conservancy inspire us with their steadfast support. Thank you to them and to Orly's installation team who worked tirelessly for two weeks to bring Orly's vision to life. Enormous appreciation to Tom Reedy, our COO, Adam Glick, the Martin Friedman curator, and Larissa Goldston for shepherding this project from beginning to end. Well, we're here for one reason. Please welcome Orly Genger. Thank you, Debbie, uh, and thank you, Mayor Bloomberg, for coming here today. Red, Yellow, and Blue is my largest installation to date, and over the past two years, I've been very excited to see how it would take shape here in Madison Square Park. Uh, it really is a pleasure and an honor for me to share it with you today. Uh, I'd like to thank David Berliner, Debbie Landau, Patty Harris, Commissioner Levin and Commissioner White for their support of this project, and thank you to all of you for being here today.